Welcome to Soft IQ Technologies. In today's video, we'll be continuing with our series on intercompany postings in Dynamics 365. In our first video, we went through the setup and posting of intercompany transactions. And for our part two, we'll go through setup and posting of intercompany journals between the HQ company and the subsidiary companies. The below scenarios will be covered. So the first scenario is where company HQ pays external vendors on behalf of company A. And the second scenario is where company HQ transfers funds to the company B. And in a scenario where customers for company C pay to a bank owned by company HQ. So there are some setups we require to do before we begin the intercompany journals. For example, the intercompany chart of accounts, the intercompany general journals, the general journal templates. And once this is set up, the transactions go through to the inbox, intercompany inbox and outbox transactions, and the handled IC inbox outbox transactions. So to show these setups, so first thing we'll need to do is the intercompany chart of accounts, where you need to define the accounts that will be shared between the HQ and the subsidiary companies. So on this side, on the left side, is the chart of accounts of the HQ company, and then you can map to the GL accounts of the subsidiary companies. So once this is set up, the other thing you maybe you need to set up is the intercompany general journal. So there is uh, templates that you require to set up for intercompany general journal. For example, the general journal template. So you need to set up uh, an intercompany general journal template and uh, ensure that the type is intercompany. Now, once this is set up, now you're ready to begin the intercompany journals. So the first scenario we talked about is where the HQ company is going to pay an expense uh, through the purchase invoice. The expense can be, for example, electricity or rent or internet. So say, for example, there's an external vendor for electricity. So the HQ company will come and pay, say, for example, they have received an invoice for 10,000, where the electricity uh, for the HQ company is uh, 6,000. So let me just put that 6,000. So the invoice comes for 10,000, but out of that amount, uh, there's a 6,000 for the HQ company and 4,000 for company A. So you come and define the amount for the company A here on the second row. And then there's some things you need to choose here. So for example, you need to choose the IC partner. So you say this is for company A and the GL account that should be hit in company A should be the same same account uh, for electricity. Now once this is set up like this, you can come and capture the vendor invoice number and you can be able to post this. Now once you post this, you can open the posted invoice just to have a look at the entries. So the entries that are there, for example, you will find that the electricity account uh, will be credited with 4,000 and debited with 10,000. The net effect will be uh, a debit of 6,000. Then accounts payables and then accounts receivables, company A. Now, once you post this now and you go to company A, So it comes and creates what we call an intercompany general journal in company A. So there are some setups which I've done here to ensure that uh, it goes, uh, ideally it should go to the inbox transactions, but uh, in our scenario, you'll find that uh, it goes straight to the intercompany journal, general journals. This is a new feature on the new BC21. Uh, so now um, those setups that I've done is uh, done here under intercompany setup where you come and define the general uh, the intercompany general journal template to be used and the intercompany general journal batch to be used now once this is done uh, one more feature that you need to activate also is uh, something that we call feature management so in the feature management you come here and also activate this uh, automatically accept intercompany general journal transactions. You ensure that it is enabled. Okay, so once this is done, now it comes and uh, creates uh, an intercompany general journal. And uh, if you come here and uh, preview post this, 
you'll find that it's going to hit uh, internet or other electricity with the 4000 and the accounts payables uh, for the HQ. So if everything is okay, you can post this. So we've covered the first scenario. Now the second scenario is where the HQ company wants to send some uh, funds, some petty cash to let's say company B. So you can uh, begin this by doing, okay, so we're going to go to the HQ company and we're going to do an intercompany general journal. So from here, you may want to say, for example, send uh, some petty cash. Say, for example, a petty cash of uh, 6,000. And you want to send it to company B. So you come here and choose company B and choose the IC partner jail account. This is the chart of account in the company B. So it's going to be petty cash also. Now you can uh, preview post this also. Ideally we expect our petty cash to be credited and our accounts receivables uh, company B to be debited. Now once you post this, of course, uh, for this transaction to be possible, you need to activate a uh, direct posting in this GL account. So once you post this and you log in to company B, it will have come and created this intercompany uh, general journal, which you can also preview post. So now we expect our petty cash here to be debited and our accounts payables to be credited. Now you can post this also. So we've covered uh, the first and the second scenario. Now there's uh, that scenario where uh, customers in company C are invoiced and uh, they pay to a bank owned by the HQ company. So we are going to go to company C and uh, we are going to do an invoice. Say for example, you come and do an invoice to a customer in company C. Now we choose a, a customer here. We, uh, we can sell to them some uh, inventory items. So say five pieces. Now this invoice is uh, worth 17,400. Um, you can post this invoice so once you post the invoice uh, when the customer is paying so instead of doing a cash receipt journal you may decide to do an intercompany uh, general journal still where you can come and define uh, the customer uh, choose the customer and you can apply uh, this payment to the invoice so once you choose uh, that uh, invoice, now you may want this amount to go to a certain bank account. Say for example, you have a bank account here called uh, M-Pesa. So on the first line, you do this to clear the customer invoice and to update your uh, the M-Pesa bank. But we know that the amount is going to go to the HQ company. So say for example, um, if I preview this one, uh, it's going to debit our bank and uh, credit our accounts receivables. But we want this amount to go to the bank in the HQ company. So on a second line, you come and define the same same bank. But now you now this one will be credited. And then you choose the vendor, the HQ company. And then you define the account that you want to be hit uh, on this uh, other side, on the HQ company. Now you can also preview post this. As expected, the bank is going to be debited and credited. And then our accounts payables will be hit. So once you post this, uh, uh, this uh, intercompany general journal, and uh, you may want to know whether the customer uh, invoices has been cleared. So if you go to your customer, 
you can see the amount outstanding is uh, showing uh, zero. It's because uh, it's uh, captured the invoice and the payment. Now, if you go to our HQ company, and uh, we go to the intercompany general journal also, Now, this transaction also comes in here. So maybe all you need to do here is just uh, choose uh, the bank account. So we can choose the same, same bank account. And then we can post this. The net effect of this is that uh, our bank account in the HQ company is going to be debited with that amount. And if you were to look at the bank account in the in the company C, the bank account will show that the amount was debited and credited at the same time. Okay, so as you can see, the balance here is zero, and you can see it came in and came out. So um, that concludes our video for today. We have been able to go through intercompany journals. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. We welcome any questions or suggestions. So feel free to email us at info at softiqtechnologies.co.ke. And if you can subscribe and like our page, we will appreciate. Thank you.